Got original 1968 Dodge Charger. Uh, original AM radio. Uh, this radio was had some problems when it came in. It was uh, it been very well used. Uh, we replaced all the thumb drives because the chrome was peeling off of them. Polished all the push buttons and replaced the glass, the uh, plastic lens in it. It had a bunch of fractures in it. Redone the total case on it, gone through the tuner, and we've done a full Aurora design conversion on it. Uh, the radio now has AM and FM stereo. Got a little stereo light over here. I don't know if you can see it on here, but this is the way the radio you will usually see it in the dash. It's kind of tilted so you can see it like that. Operating LED over here. It changes multiple colors depending on what the radio is doing. It has AM and FM stereo. Four channels out. 45 watts a channel. It's got pre-outs on it if you want to add a sub or an amp to a set of rear speakers. Um, auxiliary in, which is automatic. We're going to demonstrate that. USB port. This will charge your phone, play thumb drives, which comes with the thumb drive with the video on it, music, auxiliary in right here. This is the port you can hide or put in a round hole. A lot of people put these in the dash. Push button operated. Bluetooth. Hand-free phone calls, uh, voice command, voice assistance. Uh, the little AM radio has got voice ID, which is real neat in AM radio, and will scan stations for you. Over in your toner, this is your toner, it's wide open treble, there's bass. You have fader and balance all built in this. And loudness and EQ, which I think is a, might be close to the first one I've done like it. It might be a second one. And now it'll be interesting. And voice ID is neat. It's like, uh, well, let's do AM. If you want to go to AM radio, you just simply turn the unit off and right back on. That's AM radio. Remember, at Frontier Basement Systems, we're all things. Anytime basement. you want to know where you're at. AM 648. Now, the reason why it says 648 is because this radio is set up in worldwide uh, stations. It will be going overseas, which is pretty cool. I mess. I got to redo my antenna. Back off and right back on takes you right back to FM. FM 89.5. That's cool. Because you might be looking for a specific station. Now going down the road, you can put this radio in scanning mode and let it find your station. And uh, since it's a thumb drive, that's what happens to a lot of these wheels. People get the acid off their finger on and it starts eating the chrome off the sides. So with this one, you don't have to touch it a lot, just the volume and if you want to work the needle or the toner, just, you know, lightly. But you don't have to do all the moves that the radio will do over here or here because you've got a push button that'll do it. Let's put it in scanning mode. We're going to take that push button and go one, two, three, four. Scanning for stations. That's going to start scanning for stations without the needle move. I'm going to show you how to lock on it and even find it on the dial. Face, big helmet, mask, and he looks at that like a superhero plastic surgeon. I mean, it is a very unusual thing. You and I have yeah, gone to Romans chapter 14 and verse 10. I'm Every one of us will stand before God and give an account of himself. Yeah, Moms? We're going to let it go in a couple more and then I'll show you how to lock on the station. And in those valleys of discouragement. So you like that station there? One, two, three. Station hold. Now as soon as she, as soon as she says that, if you want to find it on the dial, start moving it. It'll go quiet till you come up on that station. There it is. Pull out a preset, preset. That's how that works. That's your scanning and all. Now you do have balance and fader built in your toner. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's go into fader by using the push button. Push it one quick time and hold it down. Fader adjust. Go to your toner control. There's your front speakers. There's your rear speakers. 
Let's balance it out. That little noise you're hearing means center of the pot. Balance it out, just stop moving it, she'll set it. Let's go into balance by going twice and hold. Balance adjust. Right side, left side. Stop it, she'll set it. Balance set. Back on treble and bass. That's how you set up your four speakers if you're running four. And that's pretty neat. Uh, let's do auxiliary in. You'll get a male to male cable that comes in the package like this. And a lot of your newer phones don't have headphone out jacks, so you, you can get these up off eBay or your store. And what it does is gives you a charging port and an auxiliary in right there in the bottom of it. Bring your device up, go to music, hit play. So now you're on the little light's gone on the green, that means auxiliary in. Whenever you get ready to go back, just turn that device off. You don't even have to unplug it. And if you don't touch the radio in 20 seconds, it'll automatically switch back to where we had it. We're going to let it do that. But if you don't like 20 seconds of dead air, just turn it off and back on, like you're cycling from AM to FM. It remembers. Should be getting pretty close. Switch. <coughs> Tickle. Tickle, tickle. Alright, that's your auxiliary in. Whew. It's a Sunday. I've been down here too long. Too many days. Alright. That's how that works. Now we're going to run our Bluetooth in. You'll do the same thing. You're going to pair up your phone to Bluetooth. It will take multiple devices. It'll always pick number one. Which if you want to do two, do the one that ain't going to be using that much, do it second. Turn yours off after you pair up. Turn that one on, pair it up. We're just going to do one, my phone. Bring up settings. Go to Bluetooth. All you're going to do is take this push button and hold it down and she comes on and helps us. Bluetooth ready to pair. Show her on her phone, all you gotta do is tap on it. She'll tell you when it's done. Pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. Alright, we'll connect it up. Let's see if I can make that stay right there. Nope. Nope. That ain't gonna work. Alright. Now you have a built-in mic right behind this plate here. Plus you get an extra mic car might be a little loud. If not, this in here works pretty good. We're going to check it out. We're going to do a voice command. It's going to take this push button again. You can turn the volume up twice, but with the thumb drive, these, these are holes so much handy. Hold it down. Play music. That's using that little mic right here. All right. We're going to watch what we do here. Now you're on music. It's designed so you don't have it in your hand. If you want to advance, one time up. Am I wrong? Twice to back up a repeat. Or you can do it with the push buttons or the tuner. Back. Up. Up. Am I wrong? Or back. Or push buttons. As long as that needle moves. Like that. Now we're going to do a little test. We're going to turn the radio off, just like if you stopped at a store somewhere. <laughs> and when you get back in your car, turn the radio on. We want it to find the radio, go back to where we had it. That's what we're going to do right now. Turn it on, let's go to radio. Bluetooth connected. Right back to where I left it. Now, a phone call comes in, Bluetooth override, don't matter what the radio's doing. She'll come in there and say, Incoming call. All you do is turn your needle up one click, 
or press this one time to answer your call. When you're done, let the phone hang up on its own and go back to doing whatever you had it doing. Or to end the call, go twice or down on your needle, one click. Which is pretty neat. All right, let's do a voice command using that mic again. Stop music. Put it in pause, right back to radio. That's what we wanted it to do. So that works real well. I like that. Uh, so every time you get in the car, I want you to do the pair up. I don't care how long it sets. Now these radios do not need 12 volt consistence. So uh, this little blue wire right here will be sealed off in your harness and it's for for to a remote wire for an amplifier or a power antenna they do not require 12 volts so if you store the car or take that juice off of it when you put it back on it goes right back to doing what you had it doing all right let's do the thumb drive you'll get one of these music on it push it in go straight to it same way here as you did your phone once it advanced twice to back up a repeat go here or use your push button either way you want to do it now there's a way to put it in pause in case you got this hit you can hold this down one second put it in pause go right back to radio cycle back around and do the same thing to bring it back up. That way you ain't got to take this in and out unless you want to charge your phone. I'll show you another way of doing it. Put your volume down twice, put it in pause, right back to radio. Right back to thumb drive. On these thumb, thumb wheel radios, this thing comes in handy. It really saves you a lot of time, so you want to mount it so you know where it is and you can get used to working it. Put it back in pause. Let's go back to radio. Another feature that we've got on this new 2.8 is your built-in loudness and EQ. Let's turn it on by using the push button. Go one, two, three, hold. Loudness on. Let's turn our EQ on. One, two, three, hold. EQ on. There's our EQ on. Now we can adjust the EQ by making sure it's on. One, two, three, hold. EQ on. EQ adjust. EQ adjust. Downward motion. EQ adjust. Crossover adjust. 120 hertz. There's our crossover. All right. Crossover set. 120 hertz. Down. Crossover Down. adjust. Subwoofer adjust. 0 dB. Now if you got a sub in, you can adjust it to where you want it. Stop moving. Subwoofer set zero. Downward mm -hmm. move. Subwoofer adjust. Downward move. Loudness adjust plus. That's just when we set it up to what we want to go to. We can set our loudness up. There we go. Loudness set plus ten dB. Down. Loudness. Down. Adju bass adjust zero dB. Let's set our bass up on our speaker. All right. Base set zero dB down. Base adjust. down. Mid. Adjust. We'll go set our mids zero. up. DB. Mid set zero DB. Treble down. Mid down. Adjust. Treble adjust zero DB. There we are. 
Treble set plus seven DB. Those now we got it all set up, and the reason why I went backwards on it, you'll see in your manual, I went backwards because going down is going to be easier than going up. But you can go either way. Now we're back on there, but now you can turn your, your loudness and your EQ off. Let's go back to normal. One, two, three, hold. Loudness off. EQ off. With original outlaw now we're back on songwriter Marshall Chapman. That's how you set With it all Marshall up. Original 1968 Dodge Charger. AM radio with a full roar design conversion. I appreciate you letting me do it for you. Thank you.